Okay, here we go. This is R Factor 2. I bought this for the princely sum of 80 something dollars. I don't know. It was money I shouldn't have been spending, but uh. You know. I've gotten so into racing games lately that I thought it was about time I, I made an honest man of myself and paid for one, so. Anyway, I do I do quite like these games. As you probably noticed over the last year or so, I've gotten into them. Not because I'm any good, but oh, see, but because I kind of I kind of I find it a kind of meditation, you know, like just uh, driving around. And I have slowly improved. You know, I look at my lap times and stuff, and when I'm not crashing, I am a little better than I used to be. So I kind of find the uh, whoa, the process of improving at something to be more pleasant than actually being good at it. So yeah, but anyway, this is, as anyone who's ever watched a uh, race, Formula One, probably recognises this is Monaco. I'll put it in the video title anyway. Woohoo! Oh yeah! Listen to a bit of uh, Robert Plant in the background. I should really concentrate on what I'm doing. I do play better when I'm not talking, but that's not going to make much of a video. So, uh, we'll just keep doing what we're doing here. Take the tunnel. Ah! <laughs> We're in fifth gear. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Slight fuck up. I'm playing a lot of racing games, uh, different ones, and I, I'm finding that I like the... What do you call it when the wheel jumps around? Uh, force feedback. It's the best in this one. It's so great. The first time I, I started playing R Factor 2, plugged it in, had my first little shot. God, it was amazing. The wheel was just jumping around in my hand. It was fantastic. It's like a Mexican fryer. Refried beans hopping out of the pan. Um, but yeah. It's more on that whole thing of me not being very good at this. Oh, I just... I don't know which racing game... I guess this applies to all of them. They should all have like a mode that teaches you how to do this. Because I don't think... I don't know. It would be, be so good if there was like an in-game narrator like Jackie Stewart or something saying... You know, oh, hang on, you're doing that wrong. Uh, you're not... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there aren't many games that are this complex that haven't got some sort of tutorial, but racing games, on the other hand, it's just like... Just get in the fucking car and drive around, you idiot. And if you suck, that's too bad. Well, you know... I've, I don't buy into that reality. What's it that uh, the guy from Mythbusters says? I reject that reality and substitute my own or something? God, I love those guys. I've been watching Mythbusters lately. Carrie Byron, oh my god, I just want that woman to fucking jump all over me. <laughs> anyway. I tell you, women, fuck. What's that video? I uploaded a video a short while ago. I was talking about the French girl in uh, high school that I was in love with. And it was Angelique. God, miss her. I tell you, that's pretty much the, the story of every educational institution I've ever gone to, is um, women that I failed to get off with. <laughs> ah, shit. Right into the tobacconist. <laughs> oh, the car's not steering properly now. Bitch. Um, I tell you, there was one a couple of years ago in TAFE. As you might know, if you've, if you've ever spoken to me in, in private, or if maybe you've just listened to the channel a lot, I went to a college called TAFE for a total of four years. I went there first when I was about 20. That's when I started. And I was part of the performance. So I basically go in four days a week just to bum around to be a musician and play songs and stuff. Uh, which is not to say that it didn't have any benefits, because some of the stuff I learned there actually came in really handy when I got into a band afterwards playing Queen music. Like, if I'd just come straight from being a bedroom guitarist to being in the Queen thing, I wouldn't stand at a chance. It stood a chance, rather. So anyway, there was two years of that, and then I took a break. As if you need a break from the cruisiest course in, in history. Ah! Shit! Sorry about that. Um... And if you look to your left, there's a famous casino square. Oh, shit! Okay. And then I went back there as a sound student, so I'd learn how to basically... Because I had this big idea in my head, still do, that I want to record my own albums and stuff, and rather than relying on some prick who wants to be paid. I mean, the funny thing about technicians and stuff is they want to be paid even if you're not getting paid. What's that all about? I'm the musician, man. I need money. Hey, anyway, sorry. I went to this course so that I could learn how to do my own recording. You know? And, uh... I spent most of the time recording other bands because that's how I was being assessed, which is all good. And I did learn some good stuff while I was there. But, anyway, to get to the point, there was this girl in the first year of my... Um, engineering classes that we were recording. She was in this band, right? One of the bands we had to record. And uh, she was this redhead, and I really liked her. 
Uh, I guess I can't say her name. Um, but, but I only say Angelique's name because she's from France, and there's no chance she's ever going to see this. But um, and you know, I really like this girl in the in the band that I was recording. Right? Really, <laughs> this is a really circular discussion. Um, okay, because uh, she plays guitar like um, nobody in particular, but I'm not overly fond of people who play quickly. Um, but I just like, I like good melodic content, you know. Geez, you don't get this anywhere else, do you? Um, she had a real sort of uh, atmosphere to her playing. Maybe a little hipsterish sometimes, but I, I can live with that if the content is good. So, um, anyway. I like this girl. I did see her a couple of times a week, recorded, and her little... She was in a sort of a, kind of a duet. There was two girl singers and then some backing dudes that weren't as important. And, um... So anyway, I built up this idea in my head that we'd be good together. I think she had a boyfriend or something, and then she didn't all of a sudden, so I'm like, all right, this is my, here's my time. I can ask her out to coffee. Not, not that I ever do that. I don't really ask people out very often. And then, um, we were recording this band one day. It was one of these really intense sessions. Oh, fuck. Shit. In the recording studio. And, um, uh, I don't know, I guess producers swear a lot. And uh, me and the guy on my team, we were swearing a lot. We swore many, many times. And then I could hear it while I was busy on the computer filtering through this discussion in the uh, in the live room, which is where the musicians play while you're recording. Apparently she found swearing offensive and is a... I don't know if you'd say born-again Christian, but a Christian, anyway. And I'm like, ah! Oh, there's my wheel. And I was like, well, that's the end of that. Because, I mean, this is the weird thing, because... I'm the kind of person that would probably curtail my swearing to a, to a degree. In, for the sake of, say, a woman. And I, w I would put, I'd totally put up with that attitude as well. It's like, well, you know what, you don't like swearing? That's cool, I can live with that. But these people, these Christians who are supposed to be more tolerant than me, are like, oh, can't have swearing. It's like, well, come on, I know you don't like it, but can't you at least tolerate it? I'm just mouthing off to be funny, aren't I? I don't really have a dog in that fight or an opinion. So anyway, yeah, I never did ask her out. She's a good company though. She's one of these people where you don't even know her and you don't talk to her ever. But then after like a month, she'll walk into the lobby of the building. Why am I not going? End installed. And she'll just have a fucking conversation with her. Hi, out. <laughs> not like that. Hi, how are you kind of thing. Something deep and meaningful. I like people like that. They're uh, low stress. Good for the soul, I reckon. Anyway, we are now in Belgium, and I don't know this track. This is, uh, hey bells, uh, Spa. And that part that we just drove through is a very famous corner in Formula One, but it's the only bit that looks familiar to me because once we get up here, it's not really the same as the modern course, so. Someone's gonna have to like, I bet, you know, people are gonna be shouting at the screen, brakes, brakes now, stop, slow go. Of course I can't hear you, so he's got to, uh... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Keep control! <laughs> I've been picking mud out of my teeth for you. Oh, you know what I need? Safety equipment. Hang on a minute. Stay there. Oh, shit! <laughs> They said Formula One was dangerous in the 60s. Okay, here we go. Oh. Okay. I feel really sorry for that guy that I ran over. God, that was a, probably a really boring topic there, that, that uh, girl from TAFE. But I, I suppose it just sort of highlights the way my life goes. I mean, I can think of plenty of good, interesting people that I got along with. And, uh, gee, I should have gone out with them. Because, you know, I just should have. Something to do, even. It sounds like my problem. I'm not a kind of... Uh, I don't know. There seems to be people who are in relationships just because they can be. Just something to do. And it's like, I'm not very good at that. Unless I'm really super keen on seeing somebody on a regular basis. I really can't be fucked dealing with them. I understand this probably makes me antisocial and a bastard or something. Socially awkward or... Maybe it's kind of Asperger's or something. I don't even care. 
Yes, we are in Spa. It's the 60s. I'm winning the championship. This car is fucking wobbling. What the fuck? Let me slow down a bit until I figure out what the hell's going on. Have I had a puncture or something? Fifth gear. I was in fifth. I slowed down again. Oh. <laughs> Let's watch that on replay, shall we? Reigns of Castamere in the background. I should. Oh, Reigns of Castamere was playing. That's why I had the problem. Doesn't look like a puncture. So what the fuck is going on? Oh, <laughs> kind of missed the turn here. Oh, 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 I'm dead. Oh, what a waste of a driver. Oh man. Why don't we make this more interesting? Hang on. We're going back to a track that I actually know. <laughs> kind of. But we'll play with the weather. How do we, how do, we do this? Hang on, I just want it all... I want the whole weather. Simple weather. Brandy. Okay. We're gonna tax my skills to the limit. And try and put some music on. Hands on the wheel. Oh, you know, actually, they're not with me. I was gonna put Toto on, because they're a good band. But we're gonna go, um. Touch and Go by Emerson Lake and Powell. That's real race music, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Gee, it's a bit rainy, isn't it? Oh, I'm actually doing alright. I've already just taken off. We're going to be in serious trouble when it comes time to hit the brakes. Go! See! Whoa! Shit! <laughs> I don't know the words. Pedal to the metal! Blow by blow! Where the devil is! Touch and go! Oh yeah. Gee, what, you know, with this wet weather driving's piss easy. I don't know what everyone complains about. I guess I'm just that good. I'm a wet weather king. I'm, I'm even better than Etten Center. <laughs> that pussy. <laughs> I love it when you make fun of him, you get all these angry Brazilians and well, it's basically any South American, Argentinians, Peruvians. All of a sudden they're all like, hey man, shut up about Senna, he was brilliant and he did a lot, a lot of good things for charity. It's like, I'm kidding. Jesus. Woo! Um, is that corner there? Oh, 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 I'm dead. It's kind of scary to think that every time I play this would be... The fatal accident in real life. Maybe not that one, but you know what I mean. I was thinking the Grand Prix Legends, it's this other game that I play, should have fatal accidents built into it, so that if if a driver like has a really bad prank, he's actually eliminated from the from the uh, from the season. Kind of maybe a, maybe not a good idea, but I think somebody should add that. Oh yeah. See I usually fuck that corner up. This isn't... Well, I like iFactor too, but my favourite is Grand Prix Legends, but I can't record that using the, the same programs that I use to do these. Like, uh, this, this program can't get it at all. Jesus, I really munted that one. Hey guys! I'm just checking into the hotel! <laughs> We're going up those fucking stairs. Coming in! <laughs> in the lobby! <laughs> I demand champagne with my mini bar. Okay, okay. Oh, you know what we need to do? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, we're gonna go sunny. Uh, race settings. And we're actually gonna put some other cars on the track. See, this is the thing. I play these racing games, but I don't like racing. And I'll tell you a couple of reasons. First of all, I'm not good enough to be competitive. Second, I'm... Because of the internet, I can only play against the computer. And it's like... <sighs> The computer's very good at doing what it does, but throw a human into the mix and it doesn't give a shit. It's just like, mm, pfft, I'm just gonna run into you, blah blah blah. I don't think computers understand the concept of these open wheel racing cars, where you really can't just like do that. You end up dead. 
But yeah, like I said, the computer doesn't give a shit. It will just do whatever it likes, run into you, knock you off the track. They got no respect. God, what a fucking great song! Do, 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 do. Systems go! Oh, we're first on the grid. I might stand a chance this time. I sense a restart coming on if I don't get this right. Da, 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 da. See, somebody just ran into me, I swear to god. That was not just me fucking up. Okay, I'm there on the right. Screen right, here we go. Oh, well, I'm out of camera already. Oh, I thought somebody ran into me. <laughs> okay, I take it back, it was my bad. Okay, we're gonna go again. Get ready to pop the clutch out. Oh, do you want to know something really funny? Don Draper is in this crowd somewhere. And Pete Campbell. Hang on a minute. We'll just... What we'll do... Hang on. Why is Don Draper in this crowd? And like, did they have to pay money to um, AMC for the privilege of doing that, or...? Let's see if we can get closer to him. Hang on. There's Pete Campbell. I don't get what the hell's with that. The, th funny, the funniest thing is Pete Campbell's head appears on a few different bodies, they're like trying to add variety. There's Don Draper again! <laughs> Don I'm Don Draper. Scotty. Executive account. So, okay, anyway. We're gonna start that again. Ready to rock! Wait for the green flag! It's exciting! Go! Oh, yes! Stay off my back! I'm in, the, I'm in this to win the championship! Oh, fuck. I can just see this coming to grief now. Okay, somebody's overtaken me. Oh, he's got a good start off the main straight! This isn't a straight, but you know what I mean. With the brakes! Okay. Oh, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> oh, oh, God, don't run into me! Stop bumping me! I can still win this! I just have to catch that guy, there's only one guy ahead of me. I'm in the championship! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, oh, pedal to the metal, blow by blow, you run running where the devil is touching, go. Shit, run the full path. Pedestrians, beware, Scotty's back, and he's pissed. Okay, cool. My adoring fans, as usual. I think, if I were a real Formula 1 driver, I would still have my supporters, because, you know, a guy like Maldonado, who just has a career of basically running into things, Basically, endangering the lives of everybody else on the grid, being a pet, tremendous nuisance. And he still has people to support him. So, it's like, I think, even with my questionable uh, standards, I could have a successful career. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, no! Dude! I'm even more retarded than fucking Felipe Massa. Okay. Just don't ask me who these people are. If you don't know, Google them. Pedal to the metal, blow, blah, blow, blow, blah, blow. Ah! <laughs> 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 Who's this fruitcake? Hang on. Oh wow, the oh the ah! It's the worst thing about the setup is the steering wheel sort of covers the keyboard, so I can't see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna pause this for a sec because I need some music. Skeletons in the closet. I don't know about that. Uh, oh, some Michael Jackson. Yeah. Okay. We'll give this a couple more tries because I'm just I'm desperate to succeed here. All right. Yeah. Woohoo! Oh God! Wheel to wheel racing. See? It's probably unsafe racing on my part. I've got to back off. Oh, fuck! Did you see what he did there? <laughs> that was really my fault. <laughs> then my favourite thing about this isn't the driving, it's blaming the computer for what goes wrong. I don't know the lyrics of the song, it's typical Michael Jackson, it doesn't matter. You can never do 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 bang bang. They don't really care about us. 
Who's us, Michael? You're a rich white guy. So solidarity's not gonna work for you. Damn it, when it's become a buy something! Okay, I've slipped down to fourth. Not my best race. <laughs> Get this gun out of my way. You're gonna go into the fucking barrier. Oh shit! <laughs> Second! Get this car rolling again. Yeah, I'm the best. I'm the best driver. Tonight, Jeremy Clarkson in the world. But we were wrong. Nice sedate turn around the chicane here. Oh shit. Hey, Bells. Hey, babe. Whoop. Pit lane speed limit is not available in this vehicle. I didn't press a button. <laughs> shit, BP. Oh no. Engine's off. Fuck, I'm really disappointed in myself. Have I finished a single lap tonight? Like I said, I don't like playing with the computer. I just like to, like, hoon around myself and just... I just need lessons. That's all I need. It's... How do I control this beat? Oh, shit, a late start. <laughs> I just need to be told how to drive it, because I know... I know what I want the car to do, but... I mean, is this one of those things you can just teach yourself to do? I don't know. Alright, now I'm coming for you. Jackie Stewart, you fucking... Actually, no, he's my hero. <laughs> I, won't say, I won't speak ill of him. <laughs> Woohoo! The King of Monaco is back! Back on the beat! Whoa, yeah. Oh, this fucking idiot wants my spot. He's not gonna get it. Blocking! Ha <laughs> ha! Ungentlemanly conduct on the racetrack. What are you gonna do? Find me, you prick? Report me to the racing stewards? I'll see you in court. Like they just don't wanna see. When it might look the was a living. <laughs> you probably can't hear the song that I'm listening to. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm really gonna uh, miss uh, misestimating. <laughs> misestimating? How loud something is gonna be on a recording? So either that computer there, you can't hear the songs on it. Or, it's really fucking loud. Ah, oh, damn it! I'm really gonna concentrate on what I'm doing here. That's what I don't like about racing games, is that... Oh, shit, I'm out of the race. Damn it. Alright, that's probably enough for now, but I just wanted to say, yeah, I bought R-Factor 2 and I love it. That's all I wanted to say, really. Uh, I'll probably do some other games now. Shit. 